What is up? DevSage here, and in this video, I'm going to be teaching you about the observer design pattern. So, the observer pattern is a design pattern in which you define a one to many dependency relationship from one object known as the subject to many other objects known as the observers. These observers, well, they can just be functions which watch the subject and wait for some signal or trigger from the subject before they run. Kind of reminds you of an event listener. And in fact, that's why the observer pattern is very useful and commonly used when it comes to creating event handling systems. So let's go ahead and jump into the code. So the first thing we're gonna need is our subject. So let's create that. So we're gonna say function subject. And this subject is going to need to keep track of all of the observers that are currently looking at it. So we need to say this.observers equals the empty array. So this is going to be an array of observer functions. So this is an array of functions. All right, so now we need to add a few methods to our subject. So let's say subject.prototype. And we're going, the first method we're going to add is the subscribe method. And this method is going to take in a function. We're going to call that fn. This is going to be an observer function. So this is basically saying, this is the observer function saying, I want to subscribe to this subject so that whenever this subject sends out some signal, I want to know about it. So add me to your array of observers. So that, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna say this.observers.pushfn. Okay, that's subscribe. We also need another method called unsubscribe. So we're gonna add that. And likewise, this is also going to take in an observer function, but this is just this is going to be an observer function we want to remove. So we're going to call it fn to remove. And this is basically the observer function saying to the subject, I don't want to receive any more news from you. I want to unsubscribe from you. Take me out of your observer list. So the way we can do that is we need to filter out this function from our observer list. So we need to say this.observers equals this.observers.filter and we're gonna name this fn and we need to say if fn not equal fn to remove then return fn. So if you're not familiar with what filter does, I have a video on map reduce and filter. Um, go ahead and check that out if you're kind of hazy with what this does. But basically what we're doing is we're removing the observer function that we passed in here. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for unsubscribe. And we need one more method, which is fire or trigger or whatever you want to call it. and this is the function that will notify every observer that is currently subscribed to this subject. We're going to do that by looping through all of our observer functions and just call them. So that's, that's how we're going to notify them. So we need to say uh, this.observers.foreach fn and we're just gonna say fn.call. We're going to loop through our observers and call every individual function. And that's pretty much it for our subjects. So let's go ahead and test it out. So let's go down here and say const um, subject equals new subject. And let's create some observer functions. So we're going to say function observer one 
and this observer is going to console log observer one firing. Let's create another observer, observer two, and this is going to console log observer two firing. Okay, so now we have our subject and we have our observers. Let's subscribe one of our observers to our subject. So let's say subject dot subscribe observer one. So what that did is it took observer one here and it added it to our array of observers. So now if we want to notify this observer, if we want to send that signal, we just call fire on our subject. And it's going to loop through all of our observers and call it. So let's do that. So let's say subject dot fire. And let's run this observer one firing. Cool. So we have one observer subscribed to our subject. Let's try to add observer two. So let's say subject dot subscribe observer two. And look at that observer two firing. So we just had, we fired a signal from our subject once after we subscribed our observers to them and both of them got triggered after we fired our, um, our signal. So that's subscribing. Let's say we don't want to subscribe. We don't, we don't, let's say we want to remove observer two from being notified. So let's see if our unsubscribe works. So let's say subject dot unsubscribe observer two. And look at that observer two firing is no longer displaying. It's just observer one. So let's switch it out. Let's try unsubscribing observer one. Oh, so now we're just left with observer two firing. So that is basically the observer pattern. It's a neat little pattern where you can define a one to many relationship um, from an object to some observers so that when you send a signal from the subject, all of the observers will get notified. So if you like this video, I encourage you to leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe if you want more content. But uh, yeah, peace.